Let's understand why we use pi in the formulas for circles. Pi is a special number that represents the ratio of any circle's circumference to its diameter. Let's visualize this with a circle. Here's our circle with radius r. The diameter is twice the radius, going all the way across the circle. And the circumference is the distance around the entire circle. If we divide the circumference by the diameter of any circle, we always get pi, which is approximately 3.14. This is true for circles of any size. This leads us to the circumference formula. Since pi equals circumference over diameter, we can multiply both sides by diameter to get. Circumference equals pi times diameter. And since diameter is twice the radius, we can also write this as circumference equals 2 pi r. Now, what about the area formula? Imagine unwrapping a circle into triangular wedges. If we arrange these wedges in a particular way, they form a shape that's approximately a rectangle. The height of this rectangle is the radius, and its base length is half the circumference. The area of a rectangle is base times height, so the area of our circle must be pi r times r, which gives us pi r squared. And that's why pi appears in both the circumference and area formulas. It's a fundamental constant that relates the key measurements of any circle.